Welcome back to Karate Customs. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, what is this mess? Well, what I want to show you, there's the ignition coil. And right back there is a Delco points distributor. Um, these were invented uh, early 1900s. Charles Kettering, Kettering, I think it's Kettering. Um, he um, first implemented these on the 1910 Cadillac. And they ran up through the 70s until... GM went with the HEI system, high energy ignition. They're electronic and they were a lot more reliable. They didn't have the uh, wear that points have and they didn't have the bounce. And there's, they were just more reliable. They delivered a hotter spark. Now, time marches on and GM's come up with some much better ideas. So, you know, going junkyard scrounging, I look for things like this. Now imagine if we were to take those eight individual coils and replace this singular coil that has to fire eight times with eight individual ones, one for each cylinder, that we can go through and have lots of time to charge up. It's gonna have a hotter spark. It's gonna be more reliable. It's gonna be easier on the system. Well, that's what junkyard shopping is all about, right? So. Um, I'm going to grab a few brackets and let's play around and see what we got. And here we have our D581 coil remote mount bracket kit from ICT Billet. You got the hardware, you got spacers, you got the mounts. Dude making the parts is having a bad day, but nothing that a die in a tap can't fit or cleaning tap can't fix up. And you got to be careful even these threads and stuff, they... Oops, there we go. They will definitely bugger up. That's billet aluminum, by the way. The steel will definitely bugger it up if uh, you ain't careful. So make sure to gently assemble. If it doesn't work, clean the threads. Okay, so this is how they want you to assemble it. You notice how the mounting tabs and everything on the outsides of it. And we'll do this. Move this guy back. And this is how I did it. And you notice how the tabs are on the insides and it's a lot cleaner on the ends, except for the dirty ass coils. But anyways, um, I'm thinking that I like this better because it just, I mean, it just looks cleaner, more compact, but I don't know. I'm going to play around with them and see, but anywho, so this is where we're at. Next step is to mount them and wire them and they're ready to rock and roll so my idea is this these are factory ls uh coil wires they um mm, i think the, i think this came off of um maybe a silverado pickup truck or something i'm not sure but it doesn't matter all the ls coils they're basically they all mount up on the valve cover and they go right there that's common so if i wanted something really clean i thought what i could do is go to the inner fender here and have these guys lined up so we could do it my other thought was is that you can always put them back there on the firewall have them go vertical and run the things down the side you'd have to make custom wires obviously but let's just mock it up and see basically this is what we end up with i mean this is just set in place right now and nothing's filled out yet but i think it would be kind of clean it's off to the side i can run the wiring here and then right down the side to the back and eventually it'll go over you're rerunning a uh, holly terminator x on it so um it's fairly clean easy enough to route and like i said this is just roughed in this isn't i mean this is just me setting stuff in place and being all greasy and grimy when i want to actually do it i'll go in there and really clean things up and get it Get everything all rounded up, painted up, cleaned up, and looking nice. But I think it's kind of cool. Now, like I said, the other option is I could go on the back, and instead of them being mounted horizontally, we would just go straight up and down traditional. Well, it would look traditional when they're routed out of it, but they would just be stacked vertically, and then we'd run the wires, and they, they would be stacked you know, vertically here. Then the wires would just come down. I could probably just make a loom off both those bolts and drop them down, you know, each head type of thing. But I don't know, I think this is kind of slick and I think it's gonna work out really nice. And the best part about using all these LS factory parts is, oh, genuine AC Delco. I bought these, I bought these uh, several years ago on a good deal, but um, 
yeah, you can just go down off the shelf stuff, ready to rock and roll. So let me know what you think. I'll be back.